Right, we're here with promoter uh, Tommy Lay, matchmaker Jesse Carter. You just put together a uh, five fight local show here in Reno. Uh, what was it you were trying to, uh, you wanted to see um, in tonight, and did you accomplish what you set out to do? Well, yeah, we wanted to see how our local kids would do. We had um, Alex McGee had a pro debut today. Tito Santos Vasquez. He is coming off a two-year layoff. He was 2012 national champion at 108 pounds. So we wanted to see how those kids do, and they actually they impressed us. Uh, Alex McGee fought a 2-1-2 two, two kid, five pro fights, winning record. Alex debut. He did his game plan. He boxed on the outside, and he was really impressive. You put uh, the last fight, especially Oscars, was a competitive shutout. I called it. Uh, the guy had his moments. When you're matchmaking, of course, for the local guys and for the development of your own fighters, uh, how, uh, what was it you looked for in the formula that was also going to give the fans a great fight and, and develop your own fighters? So I wanted to go with Javier Lopisco because two of his three losses were to undefeated kids, and he'd never been stopped. He's gone all rounds. And I need uh, Oscar to have that confidence in himself that he can go eight rounds and ten rounds to where he knows where his condition is at. And kids who are going to test them because too many kids are putting too easy and the second they step up or fight an equal paddler guy is when they crumble. And we want Oscar to fight tougher and tougher guys each time, uh, like, like going up some steps. Guys, uh, you matched up uh, two 0 and 3 fighters and it was uh, just about the fight of the night. A real good competitor about two guys that actually stepped in this time both confident that they were going to win the fight. Um, what did that sh tell, uh, should it tell other matchmakers uh, about putting in uh, maybe two journeymen against each other? Well, we have uh, records in boxing are way too lopsided. And if promoters just put on one fight of with losing records, we'd have more guys at 500. And therefore, you have more opponents, you have more journeymen, and it actually is better for the sport. So coming in, uh, b uh, both of you, uh, uh, Tommy as a promoter, Jesse as a matchmaker, what did you want to see out of your fighters? And, and are they ready now for what you did they achieve uh, the expectations of what you wanted to see in this fight to move them up another level the next fight? Absolutely, yes. I'm most impressed with Alex McGee. That was not an easy first fight. I think there's a uh, concept out there that you get, you know, basically uh, your first couple of fights are, you know, you show up and wrap your hands and, and, um, and you know, show up and step in the ring. And, um, you know, that was not the case for that situation. And, um, Alec showed a lot of heart, and I'm very, very proud of Alec. I'm, I can't say enough about him and his character. Oscar looked great, and he, um, you know, he keeps winning. And that's at, at the end of the game. That's that's what he needs to do. And uh, Santos knocks his guy out and looked great. I think Santos is back. I think he's back. You talked about great character. Uh, what more he needs to happen in Reno to get kind of the professional attitude in the area that you know the show must go on. And um, I'm not going to get into uh, the negative end of of, uh, of the card and what happened. Um, obviously there was a pullout. And, uh, but uh, how, how much do they have to learn, the local fighters that are young, up and coming, just a couple of fights or, no, or making their debuts, as far as learning that in the pro game, uh, when you get deep into uh, a negotiations and a fight, the show must go on no matter what. Yeah, I don't know when boxing became a sport that you had to maneuver and you had to try and pick opponents up and get your firm self in a perfect situation. No fight for a boxer should ever be an easy fight. It's professional boxing. Inherently, it's supposed to be difficult. Um, well, talk to briefly on what's wrong. Definitely, we saw what, what's right with boxing and what could be right uh, with yeah. more of these shows happen that are developmental shows, club shows. Uh, the crowd got into it, uh, and they were a paying crowd. Obviously, uh, I've been to plenty of fights at the MGM Staples Center, and uh, you could tell uh, there's a lot of comp tickets because they don't show up until just before the main event. How happy were you with the excitement of the crowd from the beginning to the end? I was thrilled. Thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. The Atlantis has been a great partner to work with. They know how to reach out to their players and, 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 and engage them to come out. So, I mean, you know, when you have partners like this, boxing can be done. You just need the partners where it works for them, it works for us. And the Atlantis has been great. We're very pleased with everything. All right. Uh, August 27th, the Fallon Show. The last two have been televised, little major shows. What are you looking for? 
in this year's Fallon fights? It's going to be televised. It's going to be on Unimos. It's going to be a co-promotion with Top Rank. It's on August 27th. We're still putting together the card. Um, I've heard Ramanda, Ramundo Beltran in the main event. I've heard my guy in the main event. So we're still nailing it down. I'm not sure. But it's going to be a great, great fight because Top Rank does nothing but put on great fights. So it's going to be a great night. And should Northern Nevada fans expect to see the uh, local guys on, on that show as well? Yes. We're going to try and get as many locals on as possible. All right. Any closing thoughts to say out there to fans, either one of you? Hmm. I would just like to say I hope Everybody who came out tonight enjoyed themselves and con continue to come out, continue to support. These shows happen because people come out and buy a ticket, and that's you know what makes this boxing world go around. So if uh, if you like to fight tonight, come on and check us out. Oh, yeah. um, and Tommy, real, real quick, one last question: Did uh, did tonight's uh, turnout and maybe the overall ticket sales convince you to uh, maybe to continue to try to do these shows here in Reno, or is it going to be a while? Yes, I think so. I mean, it's it's a great sign. It's not as black and white as that. I want to see. I want to see what the. I, I would say it's a very strong yes. I mean, I've got to check to make sure the players that the casino gave tickets to are happy, and that the casino is overall happy, which I've been told that they are. And um, you know, we're looking at maybe potential bigger rooms to do shows and everything. But yeah, I, I think that this is gonna. It's the Oscar Vasquez era now. Yep. Yeah, and if you if you look every fight there's people standing up. We have competitive fights across the board. People are going to tell people, and the word of mouth is going to start spreading. How important is uh, Jesse? Is your knowledge of fighters and fights that helped you put together a competitive uh, show tonight? Can you say that one more time? Um, how 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 big uh, does your 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 uh, in, your your intelligence of of the boxing game and styles helped you to match make a fight that was so competitive tonight? I mean, really, it's just been. Uh, I grew up watching boxing with my grandfather so uh, there was years of boxing huge fan and I've learned from some of the best the, the Bruce Tramplers the Brad Goodman Brad Goodman has has helped me tremendously uh, the top rank matchmakers um, Terry when I first got into this Terry Lane was helping me a lot um, I just study video just watch video and compare videos um, for years I just get stuck and lost on YouTube just watching videos and in the beginning it was taking risks because I wasn't 100 percent sure can this guy beat this guy but after a years of experience and repetition and just continuously watching videos and seeing guys' habits, etc. Um, I feel pretty confident and I am still learning though. It's a never-ending learning process. Absolutely. Well, it was a great show tonight. Great turnout. I had a lot of great things talking about it and we hope here in Reno in Northern Nevada that we continue to see more sh uh, shows more frequently. Thank you for bringing a, a great night of boxing. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Okay.